Oh, this is awesome. We've even changed things behind me, Alyssa. The Raiders are going to kick off this fall. We here at Fox 5 very excited to announce right now that we are the official broadcast partner for the Raiders. We'll have exclusive interviews all throughout the next few hours. This is so exciting and a lot of uh, comes with this announcement as we will work exclusively with the team mm -hmm. to bring you the very best content. And by we, we mean mostly our sports team. Here is Kevin Bollinger joining us now <laughs> in studio with more on this. It's exciting, obviously, for us here at Fox 5 that uh, once again, we are remaining partners with the Raiders. We are excited. Everybody's fired up for football and certainly Las Vegas Raiders football. It's a partnership that had instant chemistry from the very first meeting. It seemed like Fox 5 and the Raiders just clicked philosophy wise as a company structure and the personalities from both sides meshed. Mark Bedane, the Raiders president, began our conversation talking about how our station jumped on board at the start and never got off. You guys have been with us from the beginning. You were at the Cintiq meetings. You were at all the votes, the legislative votes. We see a constitutional two-thirds majority. I declare the bill passed. The league vote. Happy that, uh, that the Raiders are going to have a home for the long term. You've been at the games. You've been at the home games. He's going to strut in. You've been at the road games. You've been at the groundbreaking. So there really hasn't been any part of this project that, that you haven't been a part of from day one. We've seen it from the management, we've seen it from the talent, we've seen it from uh, all the support staff at Fox 5, we've been at different events together, and it's really been a, a spectacular partnership. You've gotten to know the organization well, Mark Davis, uh, everyone that, that works there, and, and gotten to know the team because you come to the games, and um, you really do feel like part of the family. It's been four years, but it feels uh, a lot longer, and that loyalty means a lot to the Davis family and to the Raider organization. The Raider organization has built so much on relationships and building relationships. How does that translate to a broadcast partner as we move forward as the Las Vegas Raiders? Certainly it starts with the games, the games that you'll cover, and, and you're our preseason partner and have been for the last three years. So you get uh, to be the first person to, to present the team every single year to the market as they're starting to learn the new players and starting to learn who's going to represent them as the Las Vegas Raiders. But there's there's more than that. There's so much content that we do together uh, in the community. Uh, we've supported your events. You've supported ours. I actually asked uh, Rosie Bowen, our, our Senior Vice President of Community Relations, to send me just a couple of bullet points of things we've done together, and she sent me four pages. So we don't have time to read all of them, but it's just sort of an indication of what we've done together over the last four years and how we've really been a part of each other's organizations. Uh, the talent, yourself, Vince, Christine has been a part of our family association. So you really have become a part of the organization. You've been a part of this organization for a long time. You started out, I believe, as a ball boy with uh, Mark Davis. What does it say about the culture and the way this organization is set up that this transition from the Bay Area to Southern Nevada has been relatively smooth, at least from the outside eyes? You mentioned Mark, and it really starts with him. You've gotten to know him, what kind of person he is. He's genuine, he's sincere. Uh, he does things for the right reasons, and, and that permeates the entire organization. So everybody uh, really behaves in that manner, and you've gotten a chance to see it as you've gotten to know the organization. When the vote was announced, we made a couple of very significant decisions from the get-go on how we were gonna try and embrace this community. The first person we moved here was our VP of Community Relations, Erin Wright, and she got a chance to meet a lot of people in the community, develop those connections, and those are now three years, and the community's been through a lot, and we've been a lot through a lot with the community. Um, but it really does start with Mark, and, and you've heard him talk about the public-private partnership, the value of that, and what it's done is produced an absolutely magnificent stadium. It's just beautiful. Uh, it's a gorgeous addition to the skyline. It's by far the most beautiful building in the National Football League, if not the entire league. And Vegas should be very, very proud of that and proud of what that building stands for and what it's going to do as an economic engine and an, an economic stimulus going forward.